Well, first, thank you to ARM for giving us this opportunity to speak and to be part of this phenomenal consortium. And um, thank you to you for spending your next 15 minutes, choosing to spend your next 15 minutes with us. Um, so I'm Emil, and I'll give you the overview of Blue Rock for the next few minutes here. If I can drive this, how do I drive this here? The green button, I assume. Okay. So millions of people suffer from intractable degenerative disease. And these degenerative conditions are a direct result of the loss of healthy cells. The tissue is degenerate. And no matter what we do, devices and drugs are relatively ineffective once those healthy cells are lost. Um, today's medicines cannot replicate that exquisite natural machinery of the cell. If you gave an infinite budget to the best engineers in the world and said, make me a cell from scratch, it can't be done today. Um, but we, we know that the cell as a medicine is this immensely powerful um, machine. We know it has been proven in CAR-T and many others in this, at this meeting. Uh, Blue Rock is an engineered cell therapy company. Our mission is to develop regenerative medicines for these intractable diseases. So at its root, Blue Rock will replace the cells that have been lost in the degenerative condition and restore that native biologic function, and by doing that, reverse the symptoms of the degenerative disease. We call that native cell replacement. But because these native cells are manufactured from a pluripotent stem cell, and we have them under industrial control, we can scale them, um, we, they're manufactured, they can also be engineered for function during that process, so that they, um, during this ex vivo engineering process, the cells can be made to produce enzymes and antibodies, um, and this has broad potential application in both rare and in, um, in, um, in broad and chronic diseases. And we call that um, engineered native cells. So Blue Rock, at a high level, is an engineered cell therapy company. We're advancing a novel cell plus gene platform to develop and manufacture native cells um, with engineered functionality. And we're applying that platform in three disease areas, neurology, cardiology, and autoimmunity. Um, in neurology, our pipeline is headlined by um, our first-in-class cell therapy to restore midbrain dopaminergic neurons in Parkinson's disease, and we will initiate that trial this year. Um, in cardiology, we intend to remuscularize the human heart in heart failure by restoring those heart muscle cells in heart failure. And in autoimmunity, we have industrial control of one of the key modulators of autoimmunity, the macrophage. We can engineer it and we can use it for its therapeutic potential. We have what we think is a great process development and manufacturing team, one of the best in the industry, both from the process development devices, formulations, um, soup to nuts, as well as um, a management team and investors who have a good track record of success. It's an honor to have these people on the team. Um, and you know, a good Series A, $225 million, as tailwind behind us to develop this big vision. Um, and we would argue two of the best uh, scientific founders in this cell plus gene regenerative medicine space, which we'll talk to you about. So our platform is composed of four parts. It's a pluripotent stem cell that's engineered to be un universal to avoid immune rejection. And because it's immortal and it can, in theory, differentiate into any cell type in the body, that can be harnessed for its manufacturing capabilities. We can further engineer those cells to specify their fate or to enhance their potency and safety um, for the delivery of therapeutic payload, which we'll talk to you about. Through our cell design and specifications lab, we can direct the differentiation of that pluripotent cell to a specific uh, terminal cell through developmental biology cues that our founders have pioneered. Um, and we use that process to make these native cells at high potency, purity, and specificity. And uh, we have insourced our manufacturing capabilities. We've completed a first of our GMP runs now just recently, and we will continue to have that as a core capability of ours um, going forward. But the bedrock of Blue Rock really is the scientific founders. Um, you know, people like Lauren Studer and Vivian Tabar at Memorial Sloan Kettering who've pioneered the translational work in neuroscience that we use, and then uh, Gordon Keller and Michael Laflamme, who are at the University of Toronto and um, University Health Network, um, that have pioneered the cardiac work that we'll be talking about. They together have decades of cell design experience. Um, it's hard to find a team with four, four people that would have a higher science citation index in this space than these four people. 
those four people create a, a broad range of opportunities of cell types that we can manufacture at this purity and specificity. We've focused on cells of the central nervous system and peripheral, and you can see many cell types listed there. This is illustrative of some of the things that these founders enable us to do at research scale. Um, so in the CNS, like dopaminergic neurons, we'll tell you about microglia oligodendrocytes. In the PNS, we'll talk to you a little bit about enteric neurons. In mesoderm and in endoderm, the cells listed, and we'll talk to you about those in a little bit. Uh, but this represents some of the things that we could do. From that, uh, we've focused on three, three therapeutic areas that I've described, neurology, cardiology, and autoimmunity. Uh, the flagship program in dopaminergic neurons I've mentioned. These, and these uh, therapeutic conditions underneath each of these are illustrative of some of the primary targets we consider. We, again, could not pursue all of these things. Um, this is a selected set of the cells and then selected application of those cells. From that, we've developed a pipeline of activity, which we describe here. So in neurology, that dopaminergic pr program, it's a native cell replacement program in Parkinson's. It's based on decades of work in Dr. Studer's lab and others, and it will, um, we will file the IND this year. Enteric neurons, the, the motility, the neuron responsible for motility in your GI. Um, microglia, the primary immune cell of the brain, which up to this point has been inaccessible. It cannot be harvested. It cannot be expanded um, like a T cell, but you can manufacture it in infinite quantity. You can engineer it. We think that's immensely powerful. Um, and then the oligodendrocyte, which is a cell that remyelinates or myelinates neurons. In cardiology, it's driven by, um, by native cell replacement in heart failure and arrhythmia. And, and in autoimmunity, it's that macrophage for tolerance and fibrosis. I, I'd like to pause for just a second because there's, for me, there's some very big concepts behind these specifics. And that is that in our first trial, we intend to re enervate the brain to restore a neural circuit that's been lost in this degenerative condition. And I think that's much bigger than just Parkinson's, the eight million people that desperately need this therapy globally. It's a very big concept. It, it leads you to ask big questions about what it means to, to, to define degenerative disease. Is it inevitable? Is it reversible or not? Similarly, our first program in native cell engineering um, will harness the power of that microglia, its fundamental either immunosuppressive or immunoexcitatory properties, the ability to car it so you can target it, its phagocytic properties, and its ability to carry payload behind the blood-brain barrier, and how immensely powerful that would be or will be when we implement that. So a cell that can do all those things, and that's fundamental now we're beginning to understand to so many conditions of the brain. So that's that's at its root why we're excited at Blue Rock, because this mission, which many of us in this room have been pursuing for some time now, this idea that we can reverse degenerative disease, we're close. We're really close. And I, I personally think that trial in Parkinson's will demonstrate it, and it will cause us to rethink how we consider degenerative disease. So the foundation for this comes from Dr. Studer, as I mentioned. Um, he published, so, you know, one of the earliest works uh, using an embryonic stem cell from a mouse, you could turn that cell into a cell that, looked, that was a neuron that expressed um, markers of a dopaminergic neuron. But when those cells were put into animal models, they failed to function. They failed to engraft. They, um, they failed to, re to reverse the degenerative, to restore part, um, dopamine metabolism. He went back and over a series of years remapped the process and through developmental cues discovered that we were making the wrong dopaminergic neuron. And in 2010 and 2011, he described how to do this correctly through a midbrain mid floor plate intermediate to get the true midbrain dopaminergic neuron. And when you put that in animal models, it works. It reverses the, the, um, the um, motor symptoms in an animal model. That's since been extended now, and there's been publications now in primates and rodents, and that's the subject of our clinical trial. And I think he represents here, this is one small example of how he represents the foundational science of this particular field. Um, that science leads to our clinical trial, the first in human trial, which I've already mentioned will start this year. Um, it's driven by the PI, Claire Henchcliffe, as the vice chair of research at um, Cornell Weill Medical Center. She's the PI for a study that's a natural history trial called Atlas PD. The recruitment for that is well underway. The target of recruitment for that is 100 patients. We will take 10 of those patients to, be to uh, receive the therapy, so we'll have, a, in, in effect, a case control of uh, 90 
uh, natural history patients and 10 treated with the cell therapy. Um, the primary aim is, of course, safety, but we do have uh, secondary endpoints that are uh, efficacy related. Um, and very excited that that will be starting this year. So, similarly, in cardiac, um, Dr. Keller, who represents, I think, over 140 publications in this space, he's published on the first to make many different cell types or how to improve the manufacture or the, the, the development of specific cells in mesoderm and endoderm. Um, in this case, we're focused on how to make a ventricular cardiomyocyte, a specific subset of the heart field, not all of the major cell types of the heart, not even a cardiomyocyte, but a ventricular cardiomyocyte. And that science, which he has pioneered, is the basis for our um, cardiac cell program, which, we're very, which we intend um, will remuscularize the human heart. And finally, our macrophage program, which I've mentioned to you, um, the macrophage as a universal cell we think represents a very powerful tool. Um, it it uh, enables multiple different payload um, modalities. You can, as I said, control its immunosuppressive or immune excitatory phenotype. You can car it. You can, it's, it's natural, obviously an innate immune cell, so it has this phagocytic ability, and it can deliver payload. It's migratory. It has a lot of, a lot of elements that make it really interesting as, um, as a therapeutic. So it resides in every tissue. You, you find it in the liver. You find it in the lung. You find it in the brain. So it, can, it naturally homes. It can be engineered for these functions, and we can, we can engineer payload. And I've just listed here some of the things that we're doing, which we'll be describing in more detail as we go forward. But um, the cell, we believe, is an ideal vehicle for this therapeutic uh, concept. So that is Blue Rock in a nutshell. We're an engineered cell therapy company. Be happy to take any questions afterward. We have a whole uh, group of people here that uh, uh, signifies how important we think this meeting is. So I'm sure you can find us. So thank you.